As you fall asleep one night, you find yourself in a strangely lucid dream. You stand in a cave. Milling around you are hundreds of other milky white translucent figures. Other dreamers, you sense. Arranged in a circle around the cave are boulders etched with primitive faces and icons. A fire pit in the middle of the cave casts shadows from the boulders onto the walls, and looking at the shadows you gain sudden insight into what the boulders represent. Gods. You feel you have a choice ahead of you. Options. Monolatry. Choose one god, take all associated powers. Dualism. Choose two adjacent gods, take two powers from one, and one power from another. Syncretism. Choose three adjacent gods, take one power from each. Be aware that the use of your powers is dependent on following the agenda and taboo of the god that power belongs to. Being a disciple of multiple gods means more agendas and taboos to be mindful of. Adjacent means that each god you choose must share a horizontal or vertical border on the grid with at least one other god you've chosen. Elseel and Lauti and Tauli only accept monolatrist disciples. The Eternal Champion Agenda Disciples of the Champion are expected to be living examples of virtue. They are encouraged to not only protect people, but also to show them how to protect themselves and each other. Taboo Disciples of the Champion are discouraged from idle behaviour and are disallowed to spend longer than a day without engaging in some serious work or training. Powers Indomitable The Disciple is an overflowing well of energy. They never grow tired, nor do they have to sleep. At will, the Disciple can dismiss all fear, worry and anxiety from their mind. They can extend this effect to others nearby. Invictus The Disciple is protected from harm by a faintly glowing shield of energy. This deflects bullets and other similar levels of damage, as well as providing extra protection from the powers of other Disciples. Too much damage too quickly can overwhelm the shield. They can extend this effect to others nearby. Hero The Disciple gains power from the belief of others. The more people near the Disciple who respect and believe in him, the more powerful the Disciple grows, manifesting as increased physical power, general competence and even the laws of physics bending to make you capable of doing seemingly impossible feats of heroic prowess. Lazari Akashic Sage Agenda Disciples of Lazari are expected to be both scholars and teachers, expanding their own knowledge and bringing learning to others. Disciples are encouraged to complement intellect with wisdom, applying their knowledge for the good of everyone. Taboo. Lazari values the truth above all. His disciples are forbidden from telling lies, and keeping secrets is discouraged. Powers. Communion. The disciple can form psychic links with other people on touch. Once formed, they can communicate with these people at any distance, and freely exchange knowledge and experiences with them at an extremely fast rate. The disciple can break the link at any time. Lawkeeper. The disciple only need glance at a text to instantly read and comprehend the writing in front of them. This works regardless of the language the text is written in. They have a perfect memory and recall of every text they've ever read. Oracle. The disciple can request the answer to any question, even questions about the future. The response comes to the oracle indirectly such as through a dream, or an epiphany brought about by a seemingly unrelated event. The more straightforward the question, 
the more easily interpreted the answer. The future can be changed. Vedara, first of the living. Agenda. Disciples of Vedara are expected to help life flourish in all places, especially humans. They are encouraged to turn deserts into gardens and, eventually, to expand humanity into the stars. Taboo. Disciples of Vedara are forbidden from killing other humans and are discouraged from deliberately taking the life of animals. Powers. Terraformer. The disciple is immune to hostile environmental effects. In addition, the disciple can gradually expand a permanent bubble of hospitable environment at a location around themselves. Within this bubble, air is breathable, temperatures are comfortable, deadly radiation dissipates, water springs from the earth, and the ground becomes lush and fertile. Sustainer. The disciple can turn water into ambrosia. A single sip of ambrosia provides all the sustenance a person needs for the day. Greater quantities have wide-ranging curative and even anti-aging properties. Ambrosia tastes slightly different every time it is imbibed, but is always extremely pleasant. When fed to animals, they instantly befriend the disciple. Life Giver The disciple can give life to inanimate stone and earth, creating golems. Golems are more intelligent than animals, but less than humans. They are strong and unfailingly loyal to the disciple. Kyra, the Undefeated. Agenda. Disciples of Kyra are expected to pursue glory in combat and battle. Disciples are encouraged to fight with honor and discipline seeking out worthy opponents and using battle as a means to improve themselves and reach new heights of prowess. Taboo. Disciples of Kyra must not step down from a face-to-face -face challenge. If insulted or slighted, they are expected to settle the matter in blood if necessary. Powers. Weapon Master. The disciple gains a thorough proficiency in using anything they touch as a weapon even if the object is not usually a weapon. Spoons become a deadly weapon in their hands. Super Soldier. The disciple has peak human physical abilities by default. They can surpass this with intense training, though if you stop training your abilities, will fall back to the default. Einhajar. The disciple regenerates at an enormous rate. Small wounds disappear in a matter of seconds. Wounds that would usually be lethal heal in minutes. This power extends to lost body parts. Lauti and Tauli, the god twins. Agenda. Disciples of Lauti and Tauli are expected to bring balance to all things. They are encouraged to always act with moderation and to punish extremism and excess. Disciples are particularly encouraged to prevent other gods and disciples from growing too powerful. Taboo. Disciples of Lauti and Tauli are forbidden from any form of overindulgent behaviour, such as drinking or eating to excess, or constant internet usage. Powers. Synchronicity. By spending a few moments examining the local area, the disciple gains a casual understanding of their surroundings, allowing them to see the exact results of their potential actions in the near future. Equalise. On sight, the disciple can briefly cause a person to lose competence in all their skills, or a machine to stop working. When used on other disciples, their powers to become feeble for the duration. Labyrinth. On touch, the disciple can send people into a vast maze. The maze is full of twisty little passages, all alike, and many hidden doors that lead to different places around the world. The disciple can also teleport themselves into the maze at will, along with carryable objects, and over time can learn how to navigate it. All disciples of Lauti and Tauli share the same maze. Azaja, Queen of the Muses. Agenda Disciples of Azaja are expected to seek fame and fortune for themselves 
and create enthralling and enchanting art. The most successful disciples are considered to be those who are most adored and appreciated. Taboo Disciples of Isaija are forbidden from ignoring their fans. They are discouraged from being distant or unapproachable to their fanbase. Powers Inspiration The disciple has a natural genius for all forms of artistic creation, such as music, painting, writing, and so on. They still have to learn the technical details of their medium, but their ability to use that medium to express themselves and captivate people is immense. Masquerade The disciple can change their appearance, including gender and clothing at will, so long as they still look mostly human. They can also generate visual and oral illusions, though these disperse if subject to strong force. Empath the Disciple can control the emotions of large numbers of people at once. The more people this is used on, the less effect on each individual. The Disciple can influence the emotions of an entire city, but only very mildly. When used on individuals or small groups, however, the effect can be extreme. El Seal, The Pretender Agenda Disciples of El Seal are expected to spread worship of El Seal to the entire globe by force or coercion and to stamp out rival ideologies. Disciples are encouraged to regard themselves as superior to ordinary people and to establish themselves as kings of men for the glory of El Seal. Taboo Disciples of El Seal are forbidden from ever speaking ill of El Seal or doubting his will or recognizing the authority of anybody else. Powers Sophist The voice of the disciple is supernaturally persuasive. Given enough time, as long as your arguments are superficially rational, you could convince a person to give you their house or jump off a bridge, though strongly willed people take more convincing. Has a lesser effect when the voice is broadcast electronically, but is still mildly effective. Power words The disciple knows three words of power, Kill causes anybody who hears the word to suffer a sudden heart failure. This is not fatal for other disciples. Pain causes anybody who hears to suffer an excruciating headache. Sleep causes anybody who hears to fall asleep. Anyone who hears the word directly and clearly and not broadcast or amplified is affected, aside from the disciple. Resurrection. The disciple can resurrect the dead with access to their fresh corpse. The person is resurrected, healthy and whole, but their mind is incomplete and bound to the will of the disciple. When used on a rotting corpse or skeleton, the person is raised as an undead zombie or skeleton, severely diminished in mind, but still bound to obedience. Osamar, Sultan of Greed. Agenda. Disciples of Osimar are expected to revel in excess. Disciples are encouraged to steal and hoard everything they can, to act upon their desires without inhibition, and to freely indulge in jealousy, gluttony, and wanton greed. Taboo. Disciples are forbidden from sharing, giving anything away or selling anything except for much more than they would consider it worth. Powers. Dislocation. The disciple can alter space in the local area, teleporting themselves short distance, opening portals between separate locations, causing rooms to become larger inside than out, and so forth. The disciple can make these effects lasting, but needs to return occasionally to renew the effect. Stalker. The disciple can take the form of a shadow at will, along with carryable objects. In this form, the disciple is invulnerable to harm, is virtually invisible in low light conditions and can move along any two-dimensional surface. The disciple can also cause deep shadows to unfurl as long, thin ribbons that can bind and slash. These effects can be dispelled if subject to direct, bright light. Phantasms. The disciple can cause duplicates of themselves. These duplicates have an independent existence but will follow the disciple's commands. Duplicates have the other powers of the disciple, 
but cannot make more duplicates. The disciple can merge with duplicates on touch, gaining all their experiences. The disciple can create up to eight duplicates at a time. The Brothers of Madness Agenda Disciples of Madness are expected to bring chaos wherever they go. Insanity and absurdity are to be cultivated and shared. Disciples are encouraged to experiment on the people around them with reckless abandon. Taboo All Disciples of Madness have schizophrenia and are forbidden from treating or mitigating this. Powers Flesh Talons on touch, the disciple is capable of reshaping the body of humans and animals as though their flesh and bones were clay, or grafting the parts of two creatures together. The result will often continue to work on some level, even if biologically it should not. This process leaves the subject physiologically unstable and liable to further mutation. Gift of Madness on touch, the disciple is capable of reshaping an individual's personality. This is not a precise science and requires experimentation to get right. Even when it has the desired effect, the process always leaves the subject somewhat mentally unstable. Cannot use on self. Warp Spasm The disciple enters a berserker state for several minutes in which your body undergoes constant mutation and cancerous growth. The disciple cannot be killed during a warp spasm, and their strength is unstoppable, but they become completely insane for the duration. Disciples of the gods are ageless and immune to disease, though by no means invulnerable. They are resistant to the powers of other disciples. Powers are more powerful and easily invoked when in favour of your patron and favour is determined by how well you advance their agenda. Breaking a taboo severely or often may cause your powers to be revoked until you redeem yourself. The gods are intelligent beings and more likely to care about the spirit of your actions than the actions themselves. There is also a tenth option, turning your back on the gods and leaving the cave. If you do this, you will be exiled given the power to leave the world of the gods and travel among alternate realities. An exile is capable of jumping between worlds, along with carryable objects, always landing somewhere safe. Navigating between worlds can be difficult, however, and it is easy to lose your way back home. The exiled are ageless and immune to disease, like the disciples. You notice a tenth god at the back of the cave, Identifying himself only as a humble merchant, he does not desire you as a disciple, but tells you that you have some credit to spend with him, regardless of your choices above. You have ten credits to spend. Cash up front, one credit. You can exchange one credit for ten million dollars. You can take this multiple times. Proselyte, one credit. You gain extra favour for convincing and helping other people to follow the agenda of your god. Exiles cannot take this option. Sacrifice, one credit. You gain extra favour for performing ritual human sacrifice. Only disciples of the evil gods, El Seel, Osimar and Madness can take this option. Detect Divinity, two credits. You can sense the presence of disciples nearby as a general feeling. This feeling grows stronger the closer you get to the disciple. Minor Miracles, two credits. You can cure light wounds on touch, hurl bolts of fire, cause your eyes to glow, cause the ground to tremble mildly around you, and cause a clap of thunder in the sky. Comprehension, two credits. You can speak and understand any spoken language though not writing. Recruitment, two credits. You can choose another person to be offered discipleship, though you don't control their choices. You can take this multiple times. Character creator, two credits. You can remake your body one time only, changing your appearance and or gender. You cannot give yourself special abilities this way or make yourself look inhuman. Mance, 
free credits. You have a huge mansion built at a location of your choice and furnished in the style of your god, or gods. The mass is protected by your patron and only you and those you designate as permitted can enter. For exiles, the mansion is interdimensional and can be jumped into at will along with other people and has fashionably minimalistic furnishings. Manses have all modern utilities. Nepotism, free credits. Any child you have has a 50% chance to inherit one of your powers. There is no further inheritance to grandchildren, etc. Fortunate, free credits. You are blessed with great fortune. This is no major effect, but probability tends to favor you in lots of little ways. Mythical companion, free credits. You have a mythical animal companion, such as a dragon, griffin, kappa, chupacabra, etc. The size of your companion cannot exceed a whale, and they can only possess minor, personal powers, such as fire breathing and flight. Shaman, free credits. You are friends with a variety of lesser spirits that inhabit the natural world. They aren't as powerful as the gods, but they can help you out in lots of small ways, changing the weather or guiding you to safe places in the wild. Artifact, free credits. You have a special item that is imbued with a power from one of the gods. While carrying the item, you can use that power freely without agenda or taboo. Nothing binds the item to you, so careful not to lose it. Profane, four credits. You are immune to the powers of the disciples. Only exiles can take this option. Soulmate, four credits. Same as recruitment, only you can choose their powers, but not their choices with the tenth god. This disciple is bound to you by fate. You are guaranteed to find yourself coming together. You are predisposed towards being close friends, but they are not under your control, and it is possible for you to turn into recurring rivals or enemies if you screw up your relationship badly. Chosen One, five credits. Take one power from any god. You can use this power freely without agenda or taboo. Reincarnation, six credits. Upon death, as long as you are in favor of your god or gods, you are reborn as a child. You regain your powers and most of your memories during adolescence. Exiles are certain to reincarnate, but are thrown to random worlds when this happens. Demigod, eight credits. Take two powers from any one god. You can use these powers freely, without agenda or taboo. We're not done yet. I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking of choosing Exile. Exiles are very powerful, and many of you in my last Disciples video decided to pick that choice. Well, for my most chad of chads of viewers, I'm going to introduce my own rule. Let's call it God Mode. Exile is banned. However, the more you advance the agenda of your god, the more credits you can spend with the tenth god at the back of the cave. As you grow in power, greater displays of devotion are required to gain credits. But perhaps, by growing in power, you can become a god yourself. Tell us how in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing them.